Hey guys, welcome to this Blender tutorial that is teaching you a cool trick in the compositor to make your renders shiny. Before we get started, I want to tell you that you can download the project files of this tutorial on my Patreon. Let's get started. First of all, you should pay good attention to your lighting setup, because with no reflections on your objects, there will be no shine and brightness. So make sure you are placing your lights properly. For example, I have a full of bullet scene here and I'm going to place my light. I added two area lights in the sides and a point light in the background. I can hide and unhide my lights to see how does each light work. After the lighting setting, we should get a render by going to the render menu and choose render image. After my render got done, I close this window and I go to the compositing workspace. I check this use nodes option and I click on this backdrop button. Then I add a viewer node here by pressing shift A and search for viewer node. Then I connect this image input to this image output of the viewer node and while the node wrangler add-on is on, I hold shift and right click and I drag my mouse from top to bottom to create a single input for both composite and viewer node. The magic is going to happen Happen now. In order to shine your render, you need to add a glare node by pressing Shift A, search for glare, choose it, and put it right here. The default glare type adjusted to streaks, and it basically adds a streak-shaped glare on your renders. As you increase in the iteration value, the glares become more high quality, and it takes more time to iterate. The color modulation helps you with the glare stroke color that I recommend you to don't touch it a lot, but you can play with it to see what it exactly does. The number of 0 for the mix value tells that you chose a middle number between the main default render and the render after adding the glare node. The value of 1 gives you full glare render and the minus 1 gives you the render with no glare on it. You can increase the threshold value to tell the computer that you want to affect less than before and concentrate more on where there is more bright and shine. The strix number shows how many strix you want on each glare. The angle offset determines the strix angle and you can play with the fade value to give more brightness or darkness to your glares. Before I enter my own setting, I prefer to create a preview of what I'm doing here instead of the properties panel. So I click on this icon and I choose image editor then I select the render result as the image. I wanna kill this outliner window by right clicking here and choose join areas. I think it's a better preview than the backdrop. Then I enter 4 for the iteration, minus 0.5 for the mix value, 2 for the threshold, 8 for the streaks, 22.5 degrees for the angle offset to rotate my streaks and give 0.75 for the fade value. After all, I duplicate this glare node by pressing Shift D and I drop it here. Then I change the glare type from streaks to the fog glow and it basically adds some shiny glows around your object. The setting is easy though. The mix value does the same as the previous type of glare and the threshold does the same as well. And the size is basically the size, <laughs> it is what it is. So I'm gonna drop it before the strict glare node and change the values like this. Minus 0.3 for the mix value, 0.5 for the threshold and 9 for the size. And boom, we can see the render results before and after. And when I render the animation, it goes really cool and here is the final result. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed after this quick tip tutorial and I hope that you will use it on your own project. And if so, please share your stuff with me on Instagram, I will definitely reply and share them. Don't forget to subscribe my channel in order to don't miss next tutorials and please share your feedback with me in the comments. And also share your ideas for the next tutorials. Thanks for watching again and goodbye.